Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel, which is Harry and A. If you are new here, let me introduce myself to you, okay? I'm that girl that's going to put you on to the new hairstyles, okay? I do all my hairstyles myself and I make sure all my tutorials are very beginner friendly. So make sure you go ahead and smash the like button because I'm going to put you on by the end of this video, okay? Today we are doing stitch braids. As you can see, I'm parting my hair, getting my section together for my first braid. I'm going to start in the middle of my head. That was just easy for me to do especially because i'm doing these squiggly ass parts as you can see my my braids aren't going straight back they got a little detail to them so today i will be using edge booster to do my parts i find that edge booster just grips the hair better when it comes to parting on the scalp better than like shine and jam and stuff like that I will be using Shine and Jam later down the line to like blend my hair with the extensions. But for the most part, I'm using Edge Booster on my scalpy scalp. So when you are doing stitch braids, make sure you thoroughly detangle your hair. As you can see, I'm adding that Shine and Jam to both sides of my comb row. That's going to be super duper important because it's going to help me grip. So you need to make sure your hair is thoroughly detangled. Because product makes your hair tangled even more. Feel me? So when you're starting your stitch braid, you want to get a section in the front and lock it down two to three times. Braid down two to three times. In order to get your stitches on the side, the little itty bitty parts and the lines, get your edge comb. Mm-hmm. The little attachment, the little comb part on your edge brush, it has tiny, tiny teeth. So it's going to help you pick up your hairs. Stitch braids is just a regular comb row with very detailed lines on the side. So just use that comb to pick up hair and braid down as normal. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I braided this entire braid. So feel free to play the video back if you need an additional viewing of what I'm doing, okay? And let me put y'all on to a little tip. When you pick up the hair with the comb, try to bring it forward. Don't bring it back and grab it with your index finger. I realized when I pull the hair to the front, my finger just can easily grip it up. I hope that makes sense. So yeah, I'm going to continue to do this. And once I hit the middle of my head, I'm just going to start to regularly comb row because I can't see back there anyways. Now, when I'm almost done, I'll say about a quarter of the back of my head is still left out. I'm going to start adding my hair. The amounts of hair that you add depends on the thickness and the length of your natural hair. I got a lot of hair, so I was adding small pieces because I didn't want my braids to be too fat. But, you know, do as you please. And I added small, I added six small sections until I got to the nape of my head. When I got to the nape, I started adding bigger sections and that depends on how long you want your braid to be here go my shine and jam the extra hold that can be found in my description box as well every single item i use the hair the jam everything can be found on my amazon store friends just make sure you click the link in my description box <music> Come to the top of the car. You don't know by the lot. You don't know what I decide. Can't be without it. Can't be without it. How can you stay for the wall? Chase out the deposit. Chase out the deposit. Money just stick with the boy. A lot of model bitches check for me. Nigga don't check for me unless you got checks for me. I kept a stick like a hobo, no checking me. Way back when Kilo had to spot it just with you. So many hoes had to get up. I said to me, she left her body home and brought her neck to me. I did a walk through that shit to jet to me. Y'all niggas show price less than my jewelry. One of my arms were particular. Watch so much that a car came with me. Back in the day, I used to walk with no mask on. Shit on my wrist, I would've kissed the whole house for And I went to school high. So on this second braid, I'm doing the same exact thing. And if I didn't mention earlier, I ended up doing seven braids in total, three in the middle and then two on each side. I did the same exact thing on this braid. However, I added a piece of curly hair and I did find it helpful to kind of get the length of the hair that I wanted by pulling it how you see me doing right here and then just braiding the hair down like normal to lock it in place and then I went and fished it out so it can you know stay out I even put it in my mouth girl because I 
just needed the hair to stay out of my way as I was braiding. You're also going to see at the end of the tutorial that I ended up cutting some of the curly pieces so it could frame my face. And to be honest, you're going to see my face scrunched up a lot in this video, y'all. Because y'all know my y'all my besties, so I got to talk to y'all like y'all my besties. I was watching Love is Blind. Girl, this season is crazy. Are y'all watching? Anyways, back to the tutorial. Unfortunately, I lost the clip of me um sectioning this part out. I told y'all my braids are not going straight back. They are all over the place. And it's such a cute design. But, um yeah, I wanted this braid to kind of like do a little loopy loop. It was hard, as you can see. My elbow pointing up. My arms fucked up. <laughs> my arms was hurting so bad after this, y'all. But, um... The difference on this braid in particular is that most of the hair is pulled to one side so it can lay flat. So I'm only doing stitch braids on the front. I didn't even bother doing the stitching on the other side because you can barely see it and it's really close to the part. It's not a lot of hair for me to maneuver on that side anyways. So yeah, um, I did this little soupty root braid right here and then the one in the middle is kind of like a thicker circular braid because of the parting but it's the same process throughout the entire video okay so yeah break yourself you can on the dash bro i wish said a little baby we got four choppers this fool before rapping on god i was trapping so get my glock and look cool i got my cape from osama bin laden look look at you signed this shit i'm pro a gang if you use from my chain and a nigga gonna die in this bitch abc G wacky y'all nigga doing that beat capture. I ain't with the finish shit. Close thing y'all get to a hash shit in the beat clap. Yo mama gon' have to make a go for me. Y'all niggas keep doing that sneak jab. Gucci had to kill the whole world. Shit, the main young savage. This motherfucking beat jack. You here to like a star? Up to the top of the car. You don't know about the law. You don't know what I do. Can't be without it. Can't be still for the world. Shoots at the pies. And just stick with the boys Cash in and cash out, cash in and cash out. Cash I am not looking for clout I knew I would figure it out It's a demeanor Pop the pig on my head in the cloud Tell my little man to bring out the crowd We got pain, now my family proud oh God, I've been dripping and dripping and dripping and dripping to the end it's time for the little finishing touches make sure that you leave your hair out for baby hairs or edges if you like baby hairs like me um this goes to show that you can do the little swoopy whoop on the side without flat ironing your hair please stop flat ironing your edges to put edge control on it that just makes no sense you can do it without i promise you so now i'm gonna go ahead and make my ends curly just by wrapping the ends um around some flexi rods you could add the curly hair to the ends but this is just the way i like to do it so yeah went ahead and dip those in some boiling hot water and then when you unravel them they are perfect as long as you wrap them how you want the curl to be they'll come out perfect every single time and then this style i'm only wearing it in a bun okay i'm not wearing the braids out because that's not cute to me like i don't know I just like the style better when it has 
a bun in the back or a ponytail or something like that. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And those pieces that you see, the curly pieces that's left out, I, I low-key don't like them. What y'all think? Comment down below. I keep pulling them back in my bun as well because I don't like them being left out. But I love the style over overall, you know. It took me about three hours, I believe, to do this style, which is not a long time. The only reason why it took me so long is because the parting, first of all, and then just me being a perfectionist and not knowing how to do stitch braids easy for real, for real. So, yeah, I 10 out of 10 recommend this style. It's easy to do once you get it down pat. Um, it lasts a really long time as long as you, you know, go to sleep with a silk or satin scarf and a bonnet. The curly pieces are nappy, and that's another reason why I don't like them. But this style is just so pretty to me. So, I hope y'all enjoyed today's tutorial. Please be sure to give me a like. Thumbs up this video, girl. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, mamas.